Hello and welcome back. Uh, according to YouTube backpacking channel policy, if you have a backpacking channel, apparently you must have at least one video on your channel showing you unpacking your bag. This is that video. And also, I try not to do any editing on the videos, so this is gonna kind of be quick because my GoPro has a limit of like 11 minutes before it goes to the next clip and then I have to put them together. So this is kind of like a speed round of what is in my pack. Um, I will put a lighter gear uh, link in the description to uh, links and prices and weights for all of this stuff. Um, this video is also in reaction to a lot of other YouTubers videos that have done going ultralight for a thousand dollars, going ultralight for five hundred dollars, and then usually somewhere in the video they'll be like, oh this is a great system for people starting out. Um, I kind of, it, that line is kind of gets me each time because what you're about to see is a total ultralight kit. So in this bag right here, everything here, you're looking at approximately five and a half pounds. Um, and you'll see as I take things out, you can probably shave weight somewhere. But you're looking at about five and a half pounds here um, for total weight. And for me, this is not my starter kit. This is my only kit. This is the kit that I have moved up to and there's no above this for my income level. Um, and so I don't think you have to go Cheap is not for starters. Cheap can be for people who can be totally comfortable in the backcountry. So, uh, again, everything you're about to see, about five and a half pounds base weight, uh, $600 total. So if you had nothing and you wanted to go ultralight tomorrow for 600 bucks, you get everything that you're about to see. First, some clothes that I would wear. Um, instead of going fancy schmancy compression shorts, merino wool, this, that, and the other thing, go buy yourself a pair of Russell compression shorts. Um, I right, like five bucks. And I'm not gonna go through prices and weights and stuff, so this is just gonna be quick. If you want a nice shirt, you know, uh, the dry comforts, wicking, five bucks at Goodwill. There's a million of these at the Goodwills near my house. This is an Adidas workout shirt, five bucks. I actually wear the fancy Vargo for $20. I love this shirt. Uh, I have a review for it. It's one of the first things I did a video on. This is like 20 bucks, titanium infused doesn't smell, I've, it's just, it's fantastic. Um, shorts, I have finally given in, and uh, these are not short shorts, but they're shorts that are much shorter that I would wear in uh, actual life. New Balance shorts, they weigh nothing. I cut out the liner, $2 at Goodwill. Uh, this is not something for my summer uh, pack, but uh, I bought the Dickies, they're like five ounces uh, at Walmart, they do just fine for me. It was $2 on sale, so again, don't go expensive stuff. I don't have fancy socks. These are the socks for my drawer. If I'm not wearing them backpacking, I'm wearing them to work. So again, no fancy socks. All right, what do I have here? This is the Zimmerbilt Quick Step. I do not have a lot of experience with this pack. Um, I have taken it on uh, two official backpacking trips. I have taken it on a dozen day hikes of good mileage. Um, but I, so far, I absolutely love it. Um, Enough on that. On the outside pocket, I have the Gossamer Gear 1 8 I am a hammock camper. I am not a ground camper. I am not a barbarian. Um, so I do hang from the trees. And in anything about 55 degrees and up, I am okay taking this. Anything 55 and below, forget about it. Um, but 55 and up, I'll take the 1 8 Gossamer Gear pad. Um, I have my Hummingbird tree straps. I have my MP3 player. I have my, I believe it was Lawson, um, Super Glide um, bear bag rope. I have the tent stakes for my tarp. I've never actually used these. I normally use my trekking poles, um, but just in case I can't get my trekking pole into the ground, I always throw those in there. I have my Hydro Blue um, water filter. I have my spoon, I have my bidet, yes, if this is the first video you've ever seen from me, go back and watch the video on using a bidet. Become a bidet user, join the club. I have, um, because I'm a bidet user, I have an extra alcohol thing, and you can see, like, this is something from my house, you can buy some smaller, more ultra lightweight container, but that's what I use. Um, I have my ditty bag, in the ditty bag I have my shovel, I have my contacts, um, I don't bring this. This is in my base weight, but I don't often bring this. I have my cell phone charger. Don't watch the videos and think that you need one of those huge cell, huge cell phone chargers. Turn your phone off when you're backpacking. Turn it off. 
don't bring it. You'll be okay. Um, th this one here weighs two ounces, and depending on what I'm gonna do, uh, I might bring it. Otherwise, I usually just leave it home. I have a couple band-aids in here. I do carry around the extra weight of a trail on the Appalachian Trail, because that's my number one place I go, and uh, this way I don't have to ever remember to pack it. Um, I have one day's worth of toilet paper. I have, because I wear contacts, I have a little crafting mirror that I use to put them in. I think that's it. And then I see a lot of ultralight backpack packers making this mistake. They're bringing full size tubes of chapstick. It's like at least 0.17 ounces more than you need to. And sometimes it looks like those chapstick things are brand new. Like get rid of half of the chapstick in it. Or just buy one of these dudes. So it's a little tiny chapstick holder. Get rid of half of it in there. That's all you need. I mean, how much chapstick are you gonna use on a trip, right? So that's my chapstick. Um, for my flashlight, I have a um, Nightcore tube. It's a rechargeable flashlight. Uh, it goes one candle power up to, I don't know, more than I need. So I love that flashlight. I am carrying the extra weight of the little thing there. Um, I lose things very easily in the thought of having a black flashlight in the woods, so I did connect that there. Um, opening up the pack. My bear bag, my fancy bear bag, is a Slumberjack sleeping bag bag that I probably purchased like 30 years ago. Uh, it's worked just fine for me for decades. I've been using this for more years than some of you have been alive and it works just fine. I'm not gonna invest in a new one. I have a frog tog poncho. This is summer only. If it's colder out, like you're talking 30s and 40s, I normally bring the frog tog um, you know, full jacket. Did I just say jacket? This is a poncho. I also have frog tog shorts that I made if it's colder out. Generally, if it is 30 degrees and up, I'm always in shorts, even into the lower 20s. Um, but uh, this goes right over the backpack, so I don't need rain gear. This is my, again, I'm a hammock camper. This is my Simply Light tarp. Uh, it's an ASIM tarp. There's no stuff bag. Ditch the stuff bags. Uh, this is my hammock. I don't bother stuffing that either into the stuff bags. It also, the bug net is around it right now. Um, this is a hummingbird hammock and a hummingbird bug net. This is, I do always bring this, almost no matter how hot it is, this is a 32 degree, um, what do you call it, um, you know, base layer shirt. Because uh, again, if the temperature drops into the 50s and you're hanging out at night, sometimes it can get a little chilly. Or if you're up high and you're on an exposed, you know, whatever, top of a mountain, um, you know, and you're sweaty and it's windy. So I always end up bringing this no matter what the weight is, um, no matter what the temperature is. And last but not least in my bag, I have the, if you've been hanging around YouTube channels, you know that this is the ultra cheap, I'm not even gonna attempt to say the name of the brand, that brand right there. Um, and again, for my purposes for hammock camping, uh, this is good into the, the 50s. I was just into it in the 50s this weekend. Um, I, I, I went to bed at like, I don't know, eight o'clock. When I woke up at five, I was a little bit chilly and just decided to get up and go, but lasted long enough. Um, anything above the 50s, it seems to be just fine. And if I can just give you some ideas for going cheaper, for those of you that, that want to start off at even less. So everything you just saw, was $600, $600. So let's say you wanted to drop down to $400. Ditch the backpack. Don't start off with a big a backpack like that. This was $14 on eBay. It was, it worked just fine. Uh, there is your, where's the brand? There's the brand right there, $14 with delivery. And uh, don't tell me that cheap backpacks can't cut it because you know what, I wore this for tons of miles on the trail when I was starting off and it did just fine. Um, not starting off like beginning backpacking, but when I went from my heavier backpack to an ultra lightweight one. Uh, this weighs under two pounds, I forgot the exact weight, uh, 14 bucks used, even brand new, it's like $45 or something like that. So uh, drop your, you know, automatically, bam, you know, drop a whole bunch of money and go with this. You don't need, to go down to the $400, you don't need the Russell Athletic compression shorts, wear your own underwear, you don't need the fancy cat hole shovel, dig with your stick or something like that, you don't need the fancy bear bag line, go buy some paracord for two bucks, it's like a half an ounce or to an ounce more weight, it's just fine. Um, if you wanted to then even, you know, drop down, I did the math, for 280 bucks, 
I have the hammock system. Go buy yourself a cheap tent. And when I mean a cheap tent, you don't need a bad tent. There's a, what's that brand? Six Moons is like, um, I don't know, it's 140 bucks and you get yourself a nice tent. This is my tent. This thing is like, again, it's older than most of you that are out there. It's made by a company called Walrus. Look it up, it no longer exists. It's like a four pound, five pound tent. And this does just fine for me when it's really cold because I don't have the whole complete winter camping system. You can supplement with things like the Costco Throw. You can supplement with things like a bivy. And if you want to try hammock camping for cheap, 14 bucks. This is how I started camping, um, hammock camping. 14 bucks off of Amazon. I slept in this for many nights. It was just fine. So hope there was something you can glean for that. You don't have to go expensive to go light. Uh, you can go really cheap and you can be very happy and stay there. All right, thanks a lot for watching. Questions, put in the comments.